Yeah, Gail, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Can Thank that be right? 56 new pieces of clothing yep. each year. I mean, that's more than one a week. It is. We actually like to buy new and what we want to talk about today is rather than buying new, buying something that somebody else was had new. So a lot of those, I assume, are being bought online. And I know that you've been looking into this in terms of how many actually get returned. What are the figures around that and, and where do those clothes end up? I think a lot of those um, clothes end up in landfill regrettably and that's why we want to raise the issue of actually giving it to charity shops or looking at renting and hiring clothes rather than continue to buy new. We have to think about doing this differently rather than owning everything new. So we're seeing different generations approaching online shopping differently. I mean, younger Australians, they're generally pretty environmentally aware, you'd say, but I assume that they're also the ones doing the most shopping here. I don't have that data, but I do know anecdotally from my own daughter that they've all started op shopping re recently and it's almost like they've found it for the first time. So I think you're right, they are definitely more environmentally aware and what we're trying to do is say we all need to think about like that and with all these conversations around cost of living, here's a great way to get new items for you at a less price or alternatively donate to charities in order to help them and their businesses as well. I think a lot of people would be surprised to learn that when you do return something that you've bought online, that it is more likely to head up to landfill. Essentially, it sounds like it can be in some situations cheaper for companies to do that than, than repackage them and get them back out into retail shops. Is that right? Look, I'm, I'm not an expert on that one, but what I do know is the Australian Fashion Council and the Australian industry is really acutely aware of the need to change their practices, and that's why they actually launched the Seamless Product Stewardship Scheme this year, which a number of Australian brands have actually got on board with to set up to look at systems that actually prolong life, um, repair, share, take back to avoid going to landfill. So we really should focus on helping those Australian companies that are using good practices like that to um, sell their their garments into the market and keep them circulating. So how do you think we can do that? How do we raise awareness so that people are a bit more um, savvy in terms of what they're buying and, and their knowledge of, of where things are ending up? Yeah, I think that we have to think about how many things we buy ourselves because avoiding waste is actually the best thing you can do. Try and look at how long you can prolong it through sharing with your friends, using fantastic uh, rent platforms like Glam Corner and others. My youngest is, and my eldest have both got their uh, formals this year. I'll be using Glam Corner rather than buying new. We just have to think about new business models and how we can keep material circulating and also think about how we could repair these items. There's great opportunities to learn new skills as we saw through War and Waste and school are teaching that now. I think we're going through a period of everything old is new again and those skills that we used to have like darning, sewing are all coming back into vogue and more and more power to it. We need to do that stuff. And when we talk about clothes ending up in landfill, is that here in Australia or does most of it head overseas? No, I think we actually try and recover as much as possible through the charity shops and we do export an amount of that material. Um, I regrettably, you know, some people do use charitable bins as if they're um, a rubbish bin. We could actually turn those into rags in the home and use them and prolong them for as long as life. But the, the sad truth is a, an amount does end up in Australian landfill that we just want to keep working on re reducing. Galsline, really appreciate you joining us. Thanks so much for your time. No worries, thank you.